got Yu-Gi-Oh openings here, and as you can see, we have this interesting looking little uh, coaster right here with a car on it. In fact, speaking of a car, there's someone else uh, doing this video with me today. Hello! Look at this gorgeous Roush Stage 3. It's a 2016 Metallic Guard, one of six made. And if you see it over here, that means you know Squirrely is what she's going by, is here today to help me out with the video. And that's what we're opening. We're not doing any car stuff. What? Yeah, no, we're not doing any car stuff. Yay! Geogons! She was so excited about doing car stuff. Now she's saying, yay, Geogons! Woohoo! <laughs> you don't want to keep that on the frame? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Because they look good together. Uh, yeah, green and green. All right, so we're going to take a look at the uh, this Talon. Ventus Talon is a Geogon. And uh, that's that's all I know about it. I, I uh, tried looking it up, and I couldn't find any details on it, so we're just going to go ahead and crack it right open. Open, open, open. I have heard it's not that good competitively, but you know what? That's okay. It looks cool. Do you want to do the honors? Yes! Okay. It's you, uh... Like it's like Christmas. I get to play with toys. Oh, he's stuck. It's like there's, uh, there's plastic there. Ooh, cool. Did you get it out? I did. Okay, you want to bring it down lower for the camera? There you go. For everyone watching. So we could play with it. Let's. I forgot to get his head in there. All right, so it looks like it's just and a little cute. I figured it out. Good job. I, so it looks like it's a lot like a cube, like the uh, Hyenix, which is interesting. So uh, this kind of confirms that it looks like not all the Geogon are going to be their own unique shape, which I can actually appreciate, because now we can get more interesting Bakugan without it being too crazy. You just It, it is Christmas for you, isn't it? It's Christmas. I get to see what this card is. Okay, okay. I hope it's not better than mine. All right, now hold, hold on. So before we go over that, here is all the useless paper that we just don't care about, except we actually do care about this one. All right, so here's some of the new Bakugan coming out. So for Geogon specifically, it looks like we're gonna look at a good old Arcalion, Viperion, Soltron, Sardux, the ones you already know. There's the Talon, there's Hyenix, which is only gonna be in Darkest and Ventus. Oh, there's going to be a spider Bakugan. Cersei is going to be excited for that. Uh, Titan King is actually con for sure his name. Uh, I actually have seen it in stores. Uh, I'm excited for that Montropod. That looks pretty cool. And then there's Stingzer or Stinger. Is it Stinger? Stingzer. I like Stingzer. Looks cool. And then for our non-Ultra Bakugan, there's those right there. Uh, nothing too exciting there. And then, of course, actually, now that I think about it, that's not the right Finica. That is not the mold that we got for Finica. You see that? This is Finica. That's not the right mold. Uh uh. No, it looks like the Frascal. Yeah. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder if Finica was supposed to be this, and then they end up doing this. So that's interesting. Or maybe what if the Finicas that are currently out? are actually for rascals. That's a theory for another day. And then there's the Bakugan Ultra, as you can see. But as for the cards, let's go ahead and take a look. So for the gate card, there it goes. Uh, so there we got that for fun stuff. So it looks like, uh, I think I've seen this one before. But anyway, Pyrus, Ventus, and Orlus get 700B, and then the Aquas, Chaos, and Darkus get minus 200B. And then someone really wants to do the cards. It looks like this card's going to be from the Secrets of the Geogon. Oh. It is Sonic Scream, cost 5 for 10 damage, and to Scry. And then finally, someone's really excited. I'm causing yes. tension. Is it going to beat mine? Oh, it looks like it is going to be from the same set, Secret of the Geogon. It, on a Helix, it gets plus 8 damage. 
It's got 1700 B and two damage. Oh, so on man. a helix, oh, on a helix, that's a big boy. And then there it is. And then its cost is four. Actually, that's not bad. I'll take it. Um, if it was a cost two or a cost three, it would be a lot better. Cost four isn't actually too bad, but you're going to be spending most of your time on it. But that isn't too bad. Because what? On a helix, you'd end up losing three, get 600. That puts you to what? 20, 2300 for seven damage. It's not bad. No. Especially if you lean into it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that Bak that Geogon one last time. Wow. And there we go. Sweet bird. <laughs> do you mean free bird? So what do you think, Squirrely? Would you run that? I would run it. Would you? I would. Why? I think it would be easier to open and it wouldn't bounce off. <laughs> I Can wonder if I could dual cord it. Double core it? Yeah. That's a good question. And since it is a Geogon, we don't get any cores with it. But we have a couple here. All right, let me see if I can close it. Oh, it's got little talons right here. That's kind of a nice touch. Oh, my. Oh, you got it. All right, so it's a pretty simple one to close, but let's see if we can double core it. I like how it just flings back. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Oh! I might be able to. It looks like it definitely has the potential to. And then I'll just close it real quick. So you're gonna have, go ahead and break its neck, bring it down, close this back piece as well. Then you're gonna go ahead and close up that front after you get these wings in. Whoa. Pretty simple. But that is Talon right there. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, would you play this cost for Geogon in your deck? Or, if you're going to play Aventus Geogon, would you rather play the cost to Vipergon? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below, and please give me a shout out to uh, Squirrely here. And guys, if you want to see more of Squirrely, yeah, there's the Vipergon, the cost to. And don't forget that. Typically, on the first of every month, I go ahead and upload an episode of the Baku Sense. And don't worry, Cersei is going to be uploading more videos as well. And then uh, I shall see you guys in the next video. And with that, that is indeed a wrap.